So after we got done taking pictures of the Gemsbuck, we were all just kind of standing around talking a little bit like we do. And Jeffy has said he was gonna go back and pick up the vehicle. Now, when the guys came in to pick us up, they left the vehicle at the blind. So as he went back, we were kind of visiting and me being me, I was out looking around at rocks and everything else. And it was then that I heard Jeffy scream. And my back was kind of to everybody. And as I turned around, I heard Tino yell, run. Now, there was part of me at that time that felt he was just kind of joking around. It was Ozzy's first day in Africa. And then I heard the, the hooves and I could then see the buffalo through the brush. And as Jeffius came around the corner, I saw the buffalo. Now at first I didn't run because I didn't know if he was with the herd. So I kind of scanned to my left and didn't see any other buffalo. So it was then that I turned and ran. And I ran directly away from the buffalo, probably about 40 or 50 yards was all. And there was a, a tree, uh, not a very big tree, but something I'd kind of get behind. And so I just wanted to get behind the tree and see what was going on. So I got behind the tree um, looked back and noticed that there was nobody left between me and the buffalo. At that point, there was three other trackers. Well, they were gone. And I could see Jeffius on the ground and the buffalo saw me and he's coming right to me. And I, I think at that moment, I probably panicked a little bit because I turned and ran directly away. Now, there's absolutely no way you can outrun a Cape Buffalo, but I didn't really know what else to do. So I took off running and it seemed like every step I could hear his hooves, I could hear him grunting and he was getting closer and closer. And at one point I kind of looked over my left shoulder and that buffalo was maybe 10 yards. His head was down, um, he was so close to me that I figured there was gonna be an impact. And I turned kind of to my left, I turned back around, then I turned to my left to, to kind of move a different way and my foot got caught up on some brush and I went down face first. Now, my bow is in my right hand, my camera's in my left hand, and I just went down um, face first into the thorns, and I kind of braced for the impact as I looked back, and that buffalo had jumped over basically my feet. Um, he, he didn't stop, and so I immediately got up and got behind this little two-foot-tall brush pile and, and watched him run off, and it was at that moment that I could hear them screaming my name and hollering for me, and it was, it was the weirdest feeling. Um, <laughs> the stuff you don't see in Africa. Five minutes after we get done taking pictures <clears throat> of the Gemsbuck, we're going back to get the truck and Jeffries comes running and screaming through the brush and a buffalo bull is chasing him. And we all scattered in different directions and it ran Jeffries over, kept coming and it turned on me and I ran and tripped and fell underneath some brush and it freaking jumped me and didn't gore me. So that little cut, but other than that, all's well that ends well. Could have been much worse. At that moment, um, everything was like black. It was just, I was staring at the ground and like I could hear them hollering my name, but everything was black. And I think I was just hyperventilating at that point. Um, I, I think that the gravity of that moment kind of hit me. But anyway, I got my wits about me. I hollered back to them that I was okay. Uh, they heard where I was, came over, and we started picking up pieces of my camera and stuff like that. And that's when we noticed Jeffy was laying on the ground. He was still back at the initial spot where I saw him in the buffalo. And I had a moment where I thought maybe something just horrible had happened to him. And so we ran over there and rolled him over and um, the buffalo had actually hit him in the back, in, the, in his lower back and knocked him down, stepped on him, but kept going. And so by the grace of God, uh, nobody was killed that day. But I tell you what, it was one of the most probably terrifying moments I've ever had out hunting. And um, I just thank God to this day that everyone walked away.